All right, welcome back to LearnWire. So let's do some more testing and subscribers. So this is a software that is still on AppSumo right now. You can get this for a one-time payment. It looks like uh, because I have the um, AppSumo Plus membership, I would be able to save money on this. I do have a tier three. I already purchased a tier three on this. It looks like they've it looks like they've added more tiers, if I'm not mistaken. If we come down here and go to plans and features, I believe that they had only five tiers. Now I came in right here at tier three, but it looks like they've added a lot more. So here, new plans, that is 100% right. So they did add new plans. They're really going all out on this. And this will just be for script writing credits per month. Obviously, that's going to be, you know, getting into agency level, most likely right there. But what I really want to do is just go and answer a couple of different things. We had somebody that we had, we had Shave Tutor asked, can you offer your opinion on using subscriber versus just using something like ChatGPT to create a video script from a blog post? So let's first go see if we could do something like that. So I'm on my site over here and I know that I created these articles right here with, I believe, hypertext right here. And so what I'm going to do is we're just going to do this email marketing one right here. So let's say we click on this article that was written with a high quality. AI writer. And so we have all this right here. We have some images in there. It's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this right here. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down, get the content. And I'm going to see if this actually will work. Actually, I think this is based on real. Yeah, yeah, I think that this is uh, correct. I was just looking at the links and so forth, but I used Koala Writer's new linking feature that added in all these nice internal links, which is super cool. But I don't know how much information can be added to the video topic right here. So I'm going to control V and it looks like it does kind of stop right there. So this all automatically will answer your question. Shave Tutor, that it doesn't look like you'd be able to completely take your whole blog post, for example, if you actually wrote the whole blog post, I could see more using this for if you actually are a writer and wrote the blog post from scratch, how you would wanna use all that information, right? But in this case, we're using AI to plug into an AI script writer, and so it doesn't really make a difference to me. So I would only think that you would want to take blog posts and create them into scripts if it was very unique, all human written content. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter because all we would have to do is just take that content and we could just go into Claude and we could just say, you know, summarize this article into a few paragraphs include the tone and major points of the article and then we could just paste that all in and then push enter and then claude will go to work on this and we can also you know come up with a come up with a demographic and so forth so you can see this is kind of how i would go about doing this so it's kind of like a, a workaround i don't think i still don't think this is going to be i think this is going to be too much to fit into this box but we're going to see right here let's see long-term business growth we'll come down here long-term business growth so it did include this whole thing right here right click word counter this is a uh, 184 words and it was able to take all that information so this is what i would do so we've got our article right here we've got our format and we could actually say and stick with me because we're going to actually maybe try to create a video sales letter which i think that will be really cool or maybe a review or something like that so that's how i would do that maybe this is just educational i believe documentary yeah so we're just going to go like that educational and let's just say for testing purposes I want to go with 800 words right now. And then video title, we're going to leave that out. And then this right here, I'm going to go ahead and just remove that. And then I'm going to go back over here and just say, give me audience profile. And so we're going to go ahead and just let AI kind of decide for us. It's saying 28 to 45, blah, blah, blah. So we'll just go and grab this real quick. We'll grab all that information and we'll just copy that we'll come back over and we'll paste that in and it looks like it did uh, take all of that information so we have english boom we have our our voice of course i'm using my animal one because i haven't my animal youtube channel i haven't really had time to upload i only have one more that i can connect and i don't know i don't want to connect LearnWire because this is not a script based type channel so i'm not i don't really want to use it for that script number two though so here we go and we would create script 
So now it's gonna go out there and we're gonna go on this journey. I'm gonna see if we can do this really quick. So we have this right here and the script building process. So I'm gonna start research right here and we're gonna see if we can just kind of cruise through this. So research limit, it looks like uh, we got this already back to zero. So maybe this is per, maybe the research limit, add relevant research. I believe that this research limit is just per script now that we're looking at this. So that's actually really cool. I thought this was per month back in my original review. It was a little confusing. But this looks like you get up to 5,000 words of available research per script. So that's kind of game changing. And that just kind of like release, it kind of uh, dismisses some of my any any kind of points I would have taken off on my original review. So that's pretty cool. So we have our search web, add link. Now, I don't really know if I, if I don't want to add uh, any information to this. But let's just say the AI writer we have is very, very is very, very solid. We know that it only gave us facts and so forth. So we can just add a link. I'm going to add the link right here. We're going to add that as our source because that's where we got the information from anyways, right? So that's cool. We can just go with that. And then that's all I want. I'm going to go ahead and move forward. Boom. So now it's generating our frames for us. Okay, cool. So we've got our, our frame right here. So email marketing, the $42 um, dollar ROI secret most businesses miss, audience goals, uh, problem solution result. I think I like that one or the case study right here. So let's go with the first one. I like it. So we're just going to check mark this frame and it's going to turn green. And then we're going to go to not really sure what this over here is. Maybe we are telling it a different angle and then it's going to create a frame based on what we say right here. So far, I like it. So we're going to go to the title. So there are multiple steps, but I would be a little bit curious and a little worried if there weren't this many steps, if we were, because we're actually doing all the steps that are required to create a high quality script, right? And so we have our email marketing's $42 secret revealed, why your emails fail, the hidden truth, unlock emails. What I did last time is I took a bunch of these, like the first 10, and then I had Claude decide which one's best. It's hard to decide when you have a list like this. The email marketing myths debunked, why email beats social media every time. I like that. So let's go with that one. There's our title and we'll go with a thumbnail right here. It's going to create some thumbnail ideas for us. I don't know if I plugged in anything. Let's see right over here. It didn't. Okay, there we go. So a split image of a bustling social media. So let's just go ahead and actually grab this. So that's edit uh, ideogram. I've been messing around with some keto stuff today. We're going to paste that in and then we're going to go and select our size and go to 16 by nine. And we're just going to see what we can get with that image. And then we're going to go back over to subscriber and we're just going to say, okay, let's just say that that's the one that we used. And then we're going to go back over to the hook. It's going to create our hooks for us right now. Okay, cool. So here's all of our hooks. Really cool stuff. I'm going to go with the second one right here. So we're going to click that check mark button there. And we're going to come back down here and go off to the payoffs right over here. So payoffs are the key points you want to cover. Choosing payoffs is optional, but it helps shape your video for this 800 word script. Consider up to two payoffs. So what do email marketing generate $42 for spent? I'm going to go with that one just because we know that that was a huge part throughout. It seemed like this just kept coming up, kept coming up. So, but then we have this, how did Uber increase ride bookings by 11% using this email strategy? And then what is the 80-20 content rule and why does it outperform promotion heavy campaigns? Why do customers respond better to emails right here? So I'm going to go like that. That's kind of the point that we're going for. And then right here, this is pretty cool too, right here. So we're going to go with that and we're going to go with that. Okay. So we have our two green and we're going to go to draft and we have our ready to write. We have all this ready to go. We can generate an outline. We can generate outline and draft. We're going to just, I just like to click that one and be done with it. So let's go take a look at some of our images that we just created for the thumbnail and see what we've got going on over here. So yeah, that one's not usable, not even close. Uh, yeah, so none of these are usable using that. It did say something about a split screen and so forth, but uh, yeah, Ideogram is just not able to create that image for us over here. Just super weird crap going on right there. So that's not going to work. But you could send that off to your, you know, whoever you hire, your, your thumbnail design team, or if you hire someone on Fiverr or Upwork or something like that, or you have someone on your team, that's what you would do. Okay. So now we're generating the outline for this. So what I want to do is the product I've been working on. Don't worry. It's not available. It's the launch date. So you guys, if you made it this far in the video, you get to know a little bit about what I've been working on in the background, but this is going to be, I haven't launched a course like this at this magnitude since 2020 about, I think it was like summertime, right? So it's been 
been almost two years since I've launched a big course like this. And so this is the this is going to be the sales page right here. And so what I want to do is I want to take this whole sales page copy that I have so far and copy that. Oh, and I was going to tell you, so the release of this will be March 5th. So we're, we're launching on March 5th. So that gives you a good about 10 days, nine days kind of warning or heads up, especially if you made it this far in the video that this is coming out right over here. And so let's go and copy that sales page and we're going to do something with that in a minute. But let's go take a look. So we've got our introduction. I used to think social media was the best marketing channel until I discovered this shocking truth. A well-crafted email campaign outperformed social media by up to 4x, a 40x, 40 times for actual conversions. Most marketers are looking at completely wrong metrics. Today, I'm breaking down exactly how companies like Grammarly and Spotify use email to create what psychologists call mental real estate. The true hidden superpower that drives purchase decisions weeks or even months after someone sees your message, your marketing strategy is about to change forever. So it does a really good intrigue right there. It says something about the person and what I used to think. And then it says most marketers are thinking about this the wrong way, right? It calls someone out. It calls an industry out. Then it says what we're going to be discussing and then it gives like a hook, a closing hook right there. And so all inside of 100 words, we're ready and geared up for the video. So we have the $42 ROI problem, why most businesses measure email marketing wrong. Ever wonder why companies with millions in marketing budgets still prioritize boring email newsletters? The answer lies in what they know that most marketers don't. When businesses evaluate their email marketing efforts, they typically fixate on immediate metrics, open rates, click-through percentages, and direct sales attribution. These service level measurements create a dangerous blind spot that's causing many companies to miss the true power of email. So this is writing, like we, like I said, very, very impressive. I almost... I almost would use this as a blog post. So kind of going back to like reverse and engineering this, I can see literally using this. Now you'd have to go in there and make sure that, hey, it doesn't say in today's video, we're doing this, right? Obviously you're gonna read through and make sure it doesn't say anything like that. But at the end of the day, this, you could post this on your website and use this as blog posts. The writing is so good. So I'm really, really liking what I'm seeing right over here. And we have our conclusion right there. So we have a total of let's go, let's just click the editor right there. And your draft is done. But where is the stats of our article? We'll go to our summary. So we have 800 words in length. And here is our article and so forth. So really, really cool. So let's go back over to dashboard real quick. And let's we copied that I'm going to go to create script and I want to try something, the video topic. So I want to go to, we want a five minute. So that's, that's the shortest amount that you can do. So I'm going to go five minutes here. We're going to go with a video sales letter strategy right here. I'm going to go ahead and we're not going to be able to fill all of that out. So we're going to do our strategy over here where I'm going to say now for this sales page, I'm going to paste that in, give me a detailed summary and pain pain points and benefits benefits so we're going to do the same process but we're going to see what we can do real quickly for a sales page sales page copy right so we have all this what we're going to you know get and we're going to go ahead and copy that we're going to go back into the software real quick we're going to paste that in i like to go over and see it does say guarantee so it really does take in more than I thought. So we have our word count. It's that's 346 words. So this box does take in, I, I would just estimate it takes in probably 500 characters or so, which is definitely long enough, good enough to, to give it some really good structure and stuff. And then we're just going to say now a customer profile. Boom. That's all I'm going to say and just let it figure it out. So here's the customer profile right here. Boom. And we'll come down. It's a really good customer profile right here. And we're gonna take that whole thing. So we're gonna copy, we're gonna go back in, and we're gonna go and paste that whole thing in there as well. Script number three, looking good. And we're gonna go and create script. So this is gonna be a video sales letter script for us. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna start our research right here. We don't really need any research. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the one sales page here and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna add our link again, right? That's the only information that I want. 
in, included. So I like how we have that control. It's only going to refer to that for information. It's not going to refer to any other information, which is cool. Then we're going to go into frame and we're going to go through, I'm going to skip through this process right here and we're going to see what the outcome is going to be. Okay. So right here, I just wanted to show you these hooks are really good. Like right over here, the average person who tries affiliate marketing quits within 60 days without making a single commission. Yet David Mills generated over $450,000 using a formula so simple it fits on a single sheet of paper, blah, 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 three-step system. Cool. I can't figure out all this techie stuff. Uh, I don't have money for paid ads. I don't have an audience. Sound familiar? These are the exact excuses I made before discovering the simple commission formula, blah, blah, blah. I really like that one. So I'm going to go with that one. So these hooks are really, really good. And I think that's the true beauty of using subscriber. That's what I'm really, really liking a lot. And here's the payoffs real quick. All right, so this one, we will select the generate outline just so we can see what that looks like. We haven't used that one yet in uh, Gener. This is our third sh third test script using subscribers since it's come out. And so I wanted to at least see what that looks like, what the outline looks like. All right, perfect. So here's the introduction. It's going to tell us what our intro is going to be. We can come through here. Why most affiliate marketing systems? We can click on that. And I don't know why it gives us a title for that instructions. Uh, but this is just a section inside of the and then we have the three step formula that eliminates technical barriers. So pretty cool stuff. And what we will do is generate our draft real quick. So when you go into the outline, and then you generate your draft, then this little side window kind of pops out and you can actually see it writing right in front of you um, from this angle. So that's pretty cool. Nice to see that. And then this is what it's going to look like. So we actually look at it. Ever wonder why some people make affiliate marketing look effortless while you're stuck wrestling with complicated funnels? The truth is uh, that traditional methods are deliberately um, over engineered. What makes David Mills a simple commission formula? So right there, if I'm actually narrating my own script, then I probably wouldn't put that in there. I would just say I and stuff like that. So you're still going to need to read through this to make sure that it's good. But this is, gives you a really, really good leg up. So that's looking really good. So now we can just click the save button right there. There's your video sales letter. Where does it say how many words it wrote for us? I want to come over to just I guess we'll just click on the edit. So please return to the draft step to write your first your script first. We already did do that. So I'm not sure but let's just go over to the draft real quick. So I'm not really sure what ended up happening. But I went ahead and just went up to the three little dots up here the drop down and I said generate full draft. So it's just gonna go ahead and generate the full draft for us real quick. Okay, so the draft is done. Now we can review and edit it. So I'm going to click the review button over here. We have a 900 word count. It's a little much for me speaking time, five minutes, 58 seconds. That might be a little too long. I was thinking more like four minutes. So I might want to cut some stuff from this. I might use a little bit of AI, especially for the, especially for a sales letter like this, right? But we can go over here and we can actually get our script and so forth. So let's go and copy or let's just download the script. I think this is pretty cool. And then we can go and open this up in Word. And then here's what our script looks like. There's our introduction. There's why most people, why most affiliate marketing systems set you set up, uh, blah, blah, boom. So yeah, there's your script really, really nicely laid out for us. So I think it works great. I might use that. I'll have to look at it. I'm going to go and read that and so forth. I might actually use that for my sales letter. Uh, but you can see the versatility of using subscriber. It's not quite something that you can, you know, completely grab uh, your blog post verbatim and then create it. But at the same time, we were able to create that summary and then control the, the research links where it's only going to get information from your blog post and then it's going to create a nice script from that. So if you're going to turn blog posts into videos, I do think that you can make it work and the, uh, it's going to still be very high quality. That's the difference between, so you, if you're really asking like, you know, can you do this? I think you can. Yes. I just showed the, 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 the kind of the workaround and the way that you do it. I think that no matter what you create from what I'm seeing in here, subscribers going to give you high quality writing. I don't know how they do it, but they have an, they have their own proprietary algorithm and software that they built. And this is creating long form scripts that are on brand and voice tone and point and all that good stuff sticks with your research that you're telling it to do and so forth. Those are things that those are hard to accomplish in ChatGPT and Claude. You can build projects, you can build uh, GPTs, you can do all that kind of stuff. But I think that there's going to be a lot more back and 
and forth and going on in order to achieve the same result. Now, can you achieve the same result with ChatGPT and Chat Claude? I think you can. It's just going to take more massaging, in my opinion. You're going to do a lot more like continue writing, do this, do that. Like, so you can do it, but I think that this is more of a, it, it kind of does it all in one for you. Very high quality. Every time I uh, log in here so far, I'm just super impressed with subscriber. So hopefully you guys got value from this and I'll see you in the next video.